Hey, Veebs. Um, I watched your last video about the Jehovah's Witnesses, and one of the questions that you had asked was that you didn't understand why any sort of organized religion or religious group would go door-to-door -door doing missionary work. What's the point? You, you know, um, I think to answer the question, I first need to, s to clarify that I'm in no way, shape, or form affiliated with any sort of organized religion. If you know anything about me, you know that the organized religion and me are like oil and water. But I understand the process or the mentality behind it, so I thought I would take a moment to explain it to you. The basic concept behind it is that they, the missionary work they're doing, they feel that they're bringing the word of their God to those that are ignorant or blind or in the darkness. Um, you know, there are a lot of people in the world that don't know the true word of God, and by bringing it to them, they are actively uh, helping those who can't help themselves, or that's the thought process. Now, I can't explain why, after you tell them piss off, they don't get the clue, other than to say that... Uh, they feel that perhaps because of your ignorance you truly don't understand what it is they're offering so they have to make sure that they exhaust every opportunity. I think some people are a little bit arrogant in that particular pursuit because of the fact that they feel that uh, they know better than you and you're too stupid to realize it so they're going to keep coming at you until you learn or until they show you. But uh, in a nutshell I think that's the reason why is that I think that the original intent or the purest intent of the missionary work is to try and help those who can't help themselves or they feel they can't help themselves. We live in a society where people don't have the time to understand or come to an understanding of religion. Uh, you know, the average work day or the average life uh, day uh, doesn't really afford people that opportunity. People don't actively pursue religious involvement or understanding. They watch TV, they go to the movies, they eat a sandwich, they play on the computer, they browse the internet, answer email, but all that stuff is specifically for the purpose of, you know, um, numbing themselves from the rest of the day, knowing that you have to go to a job you can't stand and, and deal with people that you hate. On a daily basis, everybody pursues some sort of escapism. So it, when you're using that time uh, to pursue your escapism, you're not going to actually pursue um, you know, a greater understanding of your connection with a higher power. And that's, I think, why they do it. But then again, you get those assholes out there that feel that their God told them they have to. It's written in the scripture that you have to go out there. Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses, I know specifically, are required as part of their, uh, uh, part of their um, involvement in their faith to go out and actively pursue missionary work. That They have to. In order for them to go and move forward in their, in their, uh, their affiliation with their church, they have to actually go door to door. I can tell you some stories about stuff that I've done to Jehovah's Witnesses and anybody else that's knocked on my fucking door with a pamphlet talking about God. Um, you know, I, one particular time I was actually standing at a bus stop when I was approached. And uh, this one guy, he was actually recruiting for his local church. He was, a, I think he was, a, a, I wouldn't say he was a Southern Baptist, but he was one of those more um, active churches, you know, where they actually sing and are involved in, the, in, their, in their preaching and whatnot. But he approached me while I was standing there, and he start, struck up a conversation, just an average conversation. And I'm not very big on, on uh, bus talk, bus stop talk. I don't like small talk. I think it's a waste of time. So, of course, I was very, you know, I was very brusque. I was very um, short in my answers with him because I just didn't know this guy. And I didn't want to talk to him. I had no interest. I was going somewhere. And one of the questions that he asked me was, uh, you know, he started in slow, and then he got to the point. He was like, so what do you think about, uh, what, did, what do you know about Jesus Christ? And I, I paused for a moment. I looked up and I said, I know that my God hates him. So I was pretty much that. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I think to answer your question, that's the reason why. I think that, uh, that it's just the pursuit of uh, trying to pursue a, a, the, the spiritual salvation of those who can't help themselves. I hope that uh, answers some questions. I know that really, you probably already knew that, and you just, but still, I felt that maybe uh, you might not. I didn't know. I threw it out there, and I asked you if you wanted a video response, and that was it. Okay, so I'm going to uh, post this. I'm going to post something to myself based on a religious, too, so I'm going to have two videos here. Um, I'll see you soon, Beebs, online. Hopefully, Instagram. I haven't seen you there in a God's age. Okay, lady. Talk to you later.